In the previous screencast we looked at adding some basic animations with some motion paths so that the objects on the screen moved around. What we're going to look at in this one is changing the uh, order or the sequence in which things move and the timings so that things can move at the same time as each other for example. So I mentioned before uh, we need to have the animations ribbon visible so we click on animations at the top and I find it easiest to have the animation pane showing on the right hand side so if I do that I just click on where it says animation pane we can see here that I've got six animations happening one two three four five six and there's a number on the screen which refers to uh, which where the animations are so the center is going to move first down to here wing defense is moving second because there's a number two now the number three is actually under that number one because the center moves again uh, etc so if I wanted to change the order you can just drag items up and down uh, to change the order in which the animations um, appear the numbers will change accordingly okay so you have to look at what the numbers are uh, next to the shapes uh, the name here will refer to the name of each of the shapes so picture 2 in my case is going to be uh, for wing defense etc uh, sorry for goal attack or you can use these arrow keys here to move up and down to change the order so you can change the order like that so that's simple ways of changing the order, but at the moment they're all going to appear one after the other after the other on a mouse click. Now if I wanted to make this into a sequence where I click the mouse once and then they all follow through, what I can do is um, I'm going to click on the second animation, I'm going to hold my finger on the shift key and I'm going to click on the last animation. That selects all of those animations. You can see that they've all got a blue box around them. If I then click on the uh, little down arrow, at the moment they're all set to start on click so they'll start every time you click the mouse but if I choose start after previous then what happens is you click the mouse once and it will make picture 5 move but then all of the others will follow afterwards so if I click on play you'll see that one happens then the next happens then the next happens etc okay so that's how you get one to happen after the other is you use the start after previous option Another option that you have is to change something to start with previous. So with that one there, you have two things moving at the same time. So if I click on play, that moves, and then you've got two things moving at the same time, and then you go back to the linear sequence there. So by using the options of either start after previous or start with previous, you can change the order in which things move. The other thing that you have is the option of a delay so in timing you can actually add a time delay in so if you want something to move then there to be a pause before the next thing moves you just have to add a time delay here one or two seconds before the item moves will introduce that slight delay uh, accordingly so that's simple ways of changing the um, the delays this pane on the right hand side can be very useful you can make it wider if you wish and then you can see the sort of blocks of time it's like a time graph moving from left to right so you can see what items are moving at what point um, so it's possible to create complicated movements with lots of things all moving at the same time um, by using uh, this animation pane here the mouse symbol tells me that it's going to move on a mouse click the little clock symbol tells me it's going to happen after the previous item and if there's nothing in this column it tells me that it's going to happen at the same time as the one above so basically this one and this one are going to be happening at the same time so that's a quick uh, rundown of how we can change the order and the timings of our animations that we've used earlier